Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Against the Storm. Today, I think I'm going to continue my trek south. I know it's probably like a doomed expedition to try to get to the Cobalt Seal, but... You know? We just gotta play ball. We gotta get in there, right? I'm gonna settle here, even though I could go one block further, because this will let me get another wagon... So I think we'll have just enough time. The problem is the seal fragments. Uh, I don't want to get shit from the uh, this guy, the Cloaked Wanderer, because I don't want to lose Wildfire Essence. I'm a little bit tempted to have the Hauntedness. After, at the beginning of year 8, he will kill 8 followers. Right? That is pretty horrendous, but it's not completely untenable now it'd give me 10 fragments which would be pretty good theoretically i could do like a lower difficulty rounds this time and then i would and next time and i would still be like pretty good right because even if i got three fragments three plus three is six Plus 10 is 16, whereas normally 6 times 2 is 12. You know, when you put it that way, I, I will, I will assault him. Fuck his couch. I, let's see, what is prestige 10? I don't want to do prestige if I'm going to lose 10 dudes. Goods are worth less to traders. That's fucked up. Looks like we can do it on Viceroy difficulty, which will give us four seal fragments. Okay. And uh, where is this? This is another coral forest, which has average fertility. Um, I kind of want harpies and beavers, because I think cutting into uh, the forest is good. Oh my god, the training gear costs seven. I guess we're not getting it right now. Uh, in exchange, I guess we could get other stuff, right? Could get like a royal permit, uh, which will be nice, and some extra food to start off with. Yeah, that's not too bad. I could get stone instead, theoretically speaking, so I could break in the uh, thingies. I mean, yeah, why not? This one will be called Pufferfish because of the deadly poisonous nature of the evil man who I robbed. I guess theoretically speaking, you might not be an evil man. I might be the uh, evil man in, in this case. Let's see, rotting wood, loose trees during storm, hailstorm, we need housing or else motherfuckers will die, blight rot infestion, infection, pretty bad. That means on year 8, if we have 3 hostility, which we probably will, that'll be 16 cysts, which will be god-awful. And insatiable hunger, which I don't care. Yep. It's pretty good. Pretty simple start. I like how the bugs and the meat guys are next to each other. That means that we just need a trapper's camp. Uh, which is cool. We've got three recipes, so we are going to get meat, so I do think, uh, uh, hold up, does anyone, do these guys like jerky? Harpies like jerky, beavers don't care. A jerky house wouldn't necessarily be too terrible, a lumber mill would give us infinite planks, and a workshop would give us, it would cover all of our bases. I think I'll cover all of our bases, I think that's much simpler. Um, of these, I kind of want a plantation or a greenhouse. Greenhouse is kind of dog shit, but it does have mushroom synergy. Plantation also has synergies, though, so I'll go for that. And then a tool shop will be good because we're going to get bars uh, in the settlement anyways. So, yeah, no. And we can uh, set this up. We have 10 people... Uh, which means we could probably get away with the, uh, the three woodcutter strategy. We're just gonna want to go, like, fast as fuck. Just is what it is. 
we can pull the woodcutters off when storm season comes. Anyways, right? I'm gonna want these all to be void glades except for marked. And we're gonna want them all manned by beavers. Oh yeah, 100% of my population is dedicated to wood cutting or wood burning. We have some cornerstones. So mushrooms for grain, we don't have grain. Uh, clay per minute wouldn't be too bad. It would let us build bricks for free. And pots. Which would work with the wine build. Yeah, we'll go for it. Maybe it's not the greatest, but... I mean, per minute stuff's really useful early. We've got our orders. So two trade routes with two modifier or need for jerky. Uh, did I get the smokehouse? Let's see, I did not. I do have a field kitchen. Um, I like the idea of the planks. I think the trade route one's going to be easier as well. Uh, I think the ancient tablet one isn't too bad either. And then six shelters in three minutes. Uh, how much wood do I have? That'll be the real... I have 14 wood, and the shelter costs 10 wood. Okay, I don't think we... I mean, 3 minutes in-game is a lot, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's a lot enough. I think I'll get the guild, because Beaver Resolve is going to solve itself eventually. And we can just let time advance. I mean, I might as well have a Harpy building some housing. It'll give us a good picture on whether or not we could have uh, done it. Uh, after all. I don't think we could have, but you never know. I mean, we already have enough wood. Mm, maybe I made a mistake. Oh, well, it is what it is. Alright, it's storm season. Uh, we have one person who's unhoused, so I'm gonna pull a dude off of the woodcutter real quick. Alright, they can be put back on. Oh no, Harpy Resolve as well. Well, we can pull the dude back off uh, once the time comes. I basically want to just avoid someone fucking perishing to the hailstones. I'm gonna wait until the Harpies are... I'm going to say uh, 25 seconds or so. Yeah. I can pull off a woodcutter. There we go. It was a little bit early, but I didn't know how long it was going to take specifically. For the harpy to get back in the working order. And we win this, uh, or <laughs> we survive the storm season. So of all these, uh, I don't want any of them. I mean, hidden from the queen is cool, but I care not. Overexploitation, extremely nah. Lost supplies is okay. Smuggler's visit, that's pretty nice. What would I want for the smuggler's visit though? Probably like a cooking place or maybe the weaver. Weaver would let me uh, get more fabric. Yeah, I'll get the the recipe, why not? Oh, could get a granary too. Oh no, wait, I already have fabric. Okay, in that case, I could get the clothier instead. And then that would let me build coats for everyone. I think I will do that, because the beavers do like the coats. Then we can get a workshop set up. Uh, we're going to have some more deeders join the colony. Just uh, making sure everything is set up first. We probably could do a trading post. So I might as well get that underway. And then dig into the glade. Alright, who's our newcomers? Humans. Um, I kind of like the idea of the part, but I like the idea of the extra food more. And the extra beaver as well. 
I'm a big fan of the beavers, okay? Friend of the beavers, I am. Oh man, this is so actually set. We've got three people who like coats, and we've got a clothier now. Our happiness is going to be just like absolutely set for life. So, I'm going to say limit... Do I need a limit on bricks? I don't think I need a limit on bricks. Yeah, I think this is all fine. It's going to have the one harpy just working through all the stuff. So we've got Fishman group and large encampment. Large encampment's pretty cool. We can't bribe these guys. We do start with the tools or the rocks. Uh, what's in here? Eight parts. Oh, that's really nice. Um, I think I'll use tools. And I'm just gonna, I guess, pull a woodcutter off, unfortunately. To uh, help chase away. The tools will make it where this gets done quicker. Because there will be less trips the workers have to do. We have a couple orders, so discover two dangerous or forbidden glades to get the Explorer's Lodge and 12 tools. We could get it done this year, or we have to get it done this year, which is, that's a really good one. I like getting the Explorer's Lodge. I would give Need for Education, which would make two out of three uh, races happy. Uh, do I even have the capabilities? So there's a dangerous glade, and is there another one that's nearby? Yeah, one and two. So I could, in theory, do it. Like, the distance isn't the problem, it's just the doing the multiple dangerous glades. I feel like it's really early and really spicy. But then again, the quicker we do the settlement, the better, right? I think I will go for it. It's extreme mad lad behavior, but hear me out. I have the utmost confidence in my dude's capabilities. I'm sure they'll be able to do it just fine. And I can just drill through here. Fishman totem appeared nearby. Uh, I'm definitely going to want to just yoink dudes off this third place. Yeah. Or the third woodcutter to handle that fishman totem thing. So we're going to want to lower uh, hostility anyways. Guys, this is such a terrible idea. Fuck me, dude. Whatever. We're committed now. Alright, it's dangerous squad number one. We've got a terrible crypt. Uh, we could maybe... This one we're just going to have to uh, buy some shit from Trader. But that'll have the added benefit of making sure we stay poor. Which is nice. Uh, for that event. A uh, fishman totem appeared nearby. Alright. Last woodcutter. You're uh, dealing with this one. Alright. Boom. Order done. And so we've got robbing the caravan. Minus six happiness across the board. Uh, we are kind of hostility max right now. Not gonna lie. Uh, but that is gonna solve itself soon. In one minute. Oh, this fucking thing needs to be built. Alright, it'll be built in time. I'm not too worried. Another fishman totem has spawned. Sag. Uh, what's our recipe gonna be? Uh, beef jerky would be nice. Wouldn't help the humans or anything, but... It's just generally speaking nice. So I will get it. Hopefully we have a trader who gives like planks or something. Um, of all these, I do like the idea of the pie. But to get pie, we're going to need flour. Uh, which I might as well get the rain mill for. Alright, old Farloff. You're fucking sexy. That is what I like to see. So we're going to need 15 fabric, 15 bricks, or 30 planks. For sure it'd be cheaper to do the bricks, so I'm gonna see what I can do. Uh, How much time do I have? I have plenty of time, and plenty of time. Okay, I'm gonna wait until some of this money gets pulled back, so that we can just buy the stuff with the money. Alright. 
I could get beaver clan support. So first things first, I'm going to want 20 bricks. Okay, so if I use four amber, then I could use four tools. And with the extra stuff, I can buy a little bit of oil. And then that's a permanent plus three to beaver resolve. So now we have zero money. And I can use these bricks to tear the shit down. The fishman totems are going to get solved. Uh, I guess I'm going to just loot this caravan right now. Even though it's going to highly lower the uh, happiness of the duders. Because uh, it needs to be done sooner rather than later. Is there anything else we can get from Farloff? Don't think I really care about any of these things. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. So glad I have the Explorer's Lounge. So nice. Uh, you know what we can do, actually? We can build the Clothe the Year. It's not going to be done in time for storm season. We're just going to have to uh, find a way to deal with it. But you now I have the utmost confidence. We're just going to have to burn some stuff. Right? The Harpies are already raging out of the settlement. Uh, which is extremely rude of them. Uh, I don't need any woodcutters right now. Alright, the harpies are fine. I'll have one woodcutter. Because I can. We're just going to have to uh, maintain course right now. Uh, it would be nice to have a harpy work in the clothier. So I will get the harpy work in the clothier. She's just going to make clothing. With the fabric. And that'll boost everyone's resolve for future storm seasons. For eons to come. We can make scrolls too. But to do that we're going to need wine. Uh, we do have fertile ground. I guess I will establish a plantation right now. May or may not actually be done in time, but... It'd be what it'd be. Uh, global resolve for every cache we open or every other cache. That would be good. So I'm going to get it. 20 biscuits would also be nice. We need, uh, idle workers. All right, I'll take these guys to get the coats. And I'm going to break open, uh, these two big guys. So I think that'll be cool. And we can sign woodcutters with the rest. We have one harpy remaining. Uh, the harpy could probably help make a planks and fabric. Because why not? Also, I'm going to force delivery. So I think that will be good. We're going to get a huge boost to a uh, global resolve. Okay, this this uh, place isn't going to be done in time. We don't have enough people anyways. Uh, why doesn't this guy just uh, drill into this tiny glade too? We're going to want to pop or send just all of the caches in the universe. So I think that'll be cool. Yeah, just a humongous amount of global resolve. And just like be absolutely pocket. Oh yeah, they've already got the one. Oh, we've got enough tools for this guy. Might as well send this to the Citadel. Just keep that crazy train rolling. The Harpies are now in Pog status. Gonna build a couple more houses. Did not get any uh, caches here, unfortunately. Or here. It'd be what it'd be. Let's see, of these, so complete... Any three dangerous glade events or tablets, I'll pick the tablets. And then burn cysts or build the citadel. Uh, I guess I'll do the burning of the cysts. Because why not? Ooh, the humans are happy too. That's pretty pog. It's a shame you can't use the tools to uh, open up caches. What's this anyways? A cooperage? Mmm, that's pretty good, actually. Guess I'll send a couple dudes to rebuild uh, the cooperage. And I'm going to want another plantation as well. Just get this built. 
We have plenty of wood, so I'm not really super duper concerned. Oh. Oh no, people are unhappy. Uh, I'll reroll this. It's nice to have the one free reroll, I will say. I definitely like the idea of the biscuits and skewers option. I mean, don't get me wrong, pie is also amazing, but biscuits good. Uh, we can't really make it right now. Oh, it's Sahilda. She is here. I really like the idea of the secret technique of the Firekeeper. How long is this? Oh, okay, they just sent it. So now we can afford it. This way we can... Uh, we'll just be fine. You know? Oh, I could buy a bunch of stones to hop into another cache. I would need 40 stones. It would give me 30 bars. I think it's absolutely worth. Uh, I'll just do one wildfire essence. And in exchange... Uh, we're good on food, too. Uh, I guess I'll just spend one less amber. Yeah. Oh, and I'll get a single clay. With these 40 stones, I'll break into this, and I'll have permanent plus pottery production. It will be amazing. Uh, I think I can assign some woodcutters now as well. It might make the harpies less happy. I care not. Meanwhile, I'll build some road. And that'll be that for this year. Everyone's got housing, so the hailstorms do not matter. Oh yeah, we're golden. So, do I only have one human? I only have one human. Right, then I'll just have a couple beavers in this plantation. We have... Another mediocre option. I guess I'll get the training gear manufactory so that I can uh, bust into other dangerous glades if need be. And I'm going to build a small warehouse over here so that the dudes here uh, don't have to walk all the way across the universe for their farming desires. Alright, it's a year four. We have another thing. Three barrels for every ten planks. Don't really care. Production speed is faster, but traders arrive slower. That's not terrible. But I like traders. Rudy Ground, Shrug. Global Resolve boost for three minutes every time a new glade is discovered. Absolutely. Then I'll get some more dudes. Right, these guys can be uh, replaced with humans. And then I'm just going to start Glade popping. We're going to pop into this Glade. And I guess this is uh, a dangerous Glade over here. And that'll solve my stuff and give me a reputation point to boot. And in fact, I might as well have these guys uh, popping in this Glade too. We're just going to be going for uh, happiness maxing. Just try to squeak out like a easy early win. Because there's no... Like, real urgent need or worry uh, about anything else long term. Alright, come on. Pop into these glades. Alright, that's glade one. Everyone is happy. And now for glade two. Also, I might as well build another small warehouse over here. Alright, everyone is even happier. Everyone's going fucking ballistic. We've got the escape convicts. If we persuade them, we would get five people and a bunch of shit. And, uh, you know, I think now's the time. We have empathy for people, you know. And it's nothing to do with the fact that I couldn't arrest them even if I wanted to. Surely. It'd be really nice if I could fucking get some more caches as well. So I'm going to pop into this glade too. We have a few idle workers. Also, we need housing. And we have a recipe. Uh, need for luxury school. Forum. It's need for leisure. I guess I'll go for the market. Oh, we need a seller, to be honest. 
Uh, we probably should start producing uh, barrels as well. I don't think we need to produce more coats. Actually, no, we absolutely do. Okay, then that'll be on the chopping block as well. What we really, really need is a tool shop going as well, so we can do more gladage. So I'll get that as well. I'll do another burst of popping glade soon, but there's no point right now. Uh, everyone's resolve is through the floor. There might be a point right now. Uh, in that case, I mean... Uh, I'll just pop in this glade. It only takes two chops. I'm sure we have the time to. If not, I can burn some shit. Right, the harpy's gonna leave soon. Oh, fucking harpies. Right, I'll just favor them temporarily. Dude, what the hell? These assholes are so slow. Uh, I guess I'll get gifts for the queen. And I'll burn a little bit of wood. There we go. I think we just convinced the convicts. We just popped two more glades, which means people are even more happy. Uh, I can send... Hold up, before I do that, what's in this dangerous glade? Oh, it's, uh... It's the bug anoints. <laughs> Minus five global resolve. But infinite bugs. Don't mind if I do. Okay, in that case, then yeah, I can send this to Citadel. How much happiness are we getting, by the way? Two. I'll temporarily favor the harpies as well. Just so that we can keep getting uh, resolve points. And uh, I'll pop a couple of houses down. And we need... Some beavers available. Uh, but luckily, uh, I'm going to be deactivating this thing anyways. So, there we go. Uh, we've got the beavers available. They're just going to be making tools. Uh, probably could do it out of planks because we have 44 planks. 5 wood equals 2 planks. 1 plank equals 2 tools. It's just nice, you know. Uh, I'll burn another thing. And I guess pull back a beaver. Okay, never mind. I'm pulling back all the beavers. It's a foul storm season for sure. Harpies are just barely hanging in there. Storm season's almost over though, so we're cool. Surprisingly enough, we have zero ancient tablets. Which is kind of uh, obnoxious a little bit. Um, I'll get another t another wood cutter as well, I think. So first things first. Of all these, 10 skewers for 10 pickled goods, pretty cool. Large baskets, pretty cool. I think we want we want a win condition enabler. Uh I do like the idea of reinforced axes. Flame amulets is also pretty nice. Cause that would let us have a higher base level of happiness. I think I will do that. And everyone's resolve is really dog shit right now, by the way. Harvesting crops faster, sure. I think I will trade some of this money for... Actually, you know what? I can get a pies going. That'll make all people happy. This guy doesn't have biscuits, but we can uh, sell some clay and some parts for pickled goods and uh, some porridge as well. In that way, we're going to just temporarily raise the happiness by a bunch. And uh, I suppose I could chop into another dangerous squid. We have some people I will take. I will have the more beavers. I'm going to have these guys uh, chop into this dangerous squid as well. I think I want another tool shop. And I'm going to maximize hostility even more. Look, we're, we're consuming this forest. Okay, for all it's worth. I'll get a couple harpies in this one. They will also be making uh, tools. Because of course, you know. Oh, complex food times two for euphoric vapors. That's pretty nice. 
Uh, this this one is gonna be pretty rough. <laughs> this event. Everyone's happiness is gonna once again be down the drain. But hear me out. Uh, we're gonna be getting some good wood out of this whole experience. Uh, I'm definitely gonna send this cache, the Citadel. I kind of want to send this one, but I also kind of want the scouts back. I think it's just pretty good to have. Guess I'll chop in this dangerous quick. We are producing pretty much an infinite amount of tools right now. Uh, hold up. We've got a brewery and some assholes once again. I will send these people to the Shadow Realm. Uh, we're going to need an idle worker, though. I guess I'll pull a woodcutter off. We're going to need many idle workers by the end of this. Uh, with this being the case... Uh, no, we have like 14 tools. We should be fine on tools to pop this dangerous glade as well. We're raising the hostility by a lot. Uh, with these totems, but then we're going to be dealing with hostility with the plus happiness from popping the glades. It's totally sustainable, trust me. Uh, I'm going to deactivate this guy and just have these beavers on standby. Oh, this would be a nice sendable as well. <laughs> Up to nine hostility. We're just hostility maximized. Just is what it is. Oh, beaver house haunted. Oh, we'd get a bunch of beaver house slots. That's pretty nice. Another fishman totem is pure nearby. Welcome to investigation. How's the tool shop going? Oh yeah, we're still making plenty of tools. We got a gift for the crown, which is nice. Uh, with it, we can we're gonna get. I guess the granary. The granary will let me make pickled goods. Which will make the beavers happy. There's another totem. Boom. It's about to be storm season. Uh, I guess I'm gonna cancel them chopping into this dangerous squid because that's like uh, asking for destruction. Oh god, I thought the decay altar was still going. It is not, thankfully. All right, we've got our final order. Um, I guess I'll do the even more tablets. We we're we're tablet minimized to a despicable degree. Also, everyone's resolve is extremely low, and a harpy scout got iced because of the hailstorm stones. Uh, we're gonna need to solve the shit like right the fuck now. Okay, this uh, the shelter needs to be built right this moment. Otherwise, we're gonna be like completely fucked. Scouts are idle and fishman totem. Come on, bro. Oh no, everyone's resolve is extremely not great. It's because we're no longer popping the glades. Uh, definitely, I'm gonna want pickled goods. I'll just get that rolling right now. Fuck, dude. This is extremely not great. Whatever. We're going to be bleeding some people. The hearth may or may not get corrupted. It just is what it is. Oh, we received goods for the dudes leaving. That's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, we got some beef jerky. <laughs> Look, it, it was a failure of planning, I'll admit it. Alright, of all these, the dual carriage system is pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to want something which gives resolve, though. Uh, calming the forest, I think that's good enough. Okay, uh, we have about 10 bajillion tools. So we're going to want to make use of them right now. Uh, hold up, this one has ancient tablets in it. But uh, we can't send that one off because we can get the same reputation just by, uh, you know, making use of it properly. 
Uh, none of these guys have a ton of stone. Who's coming? This guy, so Thor the Ancient. It'd be really nice to have stone. I could I could get a stone cutter's camp. I probably should have had this shit going like five million years ago. That being said, so Thor has training gear and ways of the forest and clearance totem. So we'll be able to buy the training gear from Sothor. And then with this training gear, we can pop this cache. Which will give me probably plus one resolve and give me the tablets for two orders. So that'll be two reputation. So Thor doesn't have any like food or anything that I'd want. Uh, but you know, that's fine. Because uh, we're going to be done this year. And it's not going to be through resolve. It's going to be through hard work. Uh, I might as well get Explorer's Lodge. You wouldn't happen to have scrolls, actually, would you? He does. Ooh, hold up. Uh, in that case, uh, I'm going to sell some stuff for some scrolls. And I guess, uh, do I need coats? I'll get a little bit more training gear. There we go. The scrolls will combine with the Explorer's Lounge to just be cool, you know? And I might as well rebuild this brewery for the Explorer's Lounge as well. Uh, do I want anything else from him? I don't think I do. I think, unironically, I do, I do need some people. So I'll get the sun people. So let me assign more woodcutters as well. Alright, dangerous glade acquired. We've got dead beavers. I'm very tempted to rob the dead. Because uh, three ancient tablets would be really, really useful. It would make the beavers unhappy. But the beavers are so happy that uh, uh, it does not matter. In fact, uh, I'll have the beavers doing the robbing. Much to their chagrin. And I'm just going to have this guy up here drill into these two glades. Got a reputation point. Tavern, sure. Uh, sending the citadel, also probably sure. But the question is how? I think we have to wait for some of these cash people to be done. It'd be nice to have a market, but we don't have the planks for it. So it is what it is. Uh, I think this guy can uh, pop in this glade real quick. Uh, fuck, I need to free up more workers. Alright, these guys are doing literally nothing, and they all suck, so... They're gonna be popping into this... cache. And uh, this artisan... could be rebuilt as well, because why not? And then I'm gonna want three dudes here. It's gonna be a huge amount of resolve gain. Alright, boom, and boom. Now I just need two resolve points before the end of the year. Which hopefully will be doable. Uh, how are we going to do it? I think we need to pop into another glade. I know I hold on this abandoned cache. No, I, I do think we need to pop into another glade. It will give me the happiness to get more stuff. And more importantly, it'll open up, it'll let me open up some caches. So these ladies can pop this. Every two uh, caches we pop also just gives us the stuff we need. All right, we're getting... Uh, I guess I'll just do uh, Sacrament of the Flame. Uh, I'll put a tavern down. Why not? Plus three resolve. Uh, we need a worker. I'll deactivate this woodcutter and have these guys pop in this. They'll build the tavern, then I'll put the three guys into the tavern. We're getting 0.78 reputation per minute. It's gonna become stinky once storm season happens, if storm season happens. Hell yes. So six year settlement, not super great, but not super terrible. <laughs> and we didn't lose any dudes to the court to the curse. I think that was pretty good. All things considered. 
Obviously, to make pace, we're going to have to get caravan wagons again. Just is what it is. We have so much distance cover. We have two events, Brass Order Engineers and Stormbird Egg. So then engineers are pay machinery, gain food stockpiles, or alternatively, we could help them out. Helping them out seems crazy and hard to do, so I'll just get the food stockpiles. And then let's see. Minus two resolve during the storm for two games to gain 30 eggs every single thing. That's not too bad. I kind of think we should do it. I think it'd be pretty badass. We're going to have at least two games, right? So we can just like settle near this armory. Because I don't think there's any point in settling near this haunted forest. Well, I'll leave that for another time, though. We have actually gotten a settlement that did not take too much time. We have 44 seal fragments. I think we're doing... We might actually make pace. Which is making me pog, for sure. I'm pretty optimistic. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Against the Storm. Goodbye.